orange is not normally a good color for a car. This one does it quite well. Hey. This bright orange beauty is a 1973 BMW 2002 TII. In the early 60s, BMW created a line of cars called the New Class, and this was at the tail end of those productions. It was literally what helped keep BMW afloat at the time, and was responsible for putting them on the map in the United States. Produced from 1968 to 1976, the 2002 base model did very well with over 300,000 sold. It came with 100 horsepower using a carbureted 2-liter four-cylinder engine. A TI version was produced alongside this, which came with twin carburetors and gave it an additional 19 horsepower. Then there was the TI-I. Introduced in 1971, it upped the horsepower to 130 using a mechanical fuel injection system called the Kugelfischer. You like how I act like I know what I'm talking about there? This was relatively rare in comparison, with only about 40,000 of these being sold. During its release, Car and Driver touted it as the perfect blend of performance, power, handling, and comfort. With a spacious trunk and seating for five, not a lot of cars can compete with what this little guy was doing during that era. There was also a turbo model, which was in very short supply due to the oil crisis around its release in 1973. With very few ever produced and sold, the turbo is the unicorn of the 2002s, fetching clear over six figures. This example is a work in progress for the owner, John. He's done a great job at restoring the exterior back to its original look with a few mechanical upgrades to make it roadworthy. The interior isn't completed, so you will notice some obvious missing pieces, but in due time, he'll get it all back together. He just has some other things to focus on, like his jaw-dropping 1989 M3. But that's for another video. For now, let's hop into the driver's seat of this orange guy and see how it moves. Oh, and please forgive our poor usage of face masks during the video. It was more of a precaution than necessity in this case, but it was also nine degrees and humid. That's fine for that. All right, keys in the ignition, sir. So first thing I notice is the design of the pedals and how they kind of protrude from the base of the floor. It's a little bit of a different design than I'm used to, but it's still welcoming despite how kind of tight it is down there. It is tight. It is tight, isn't it? And now, besides the lack of power steering, that's gone. You changed out the four gear transmission here for a five speed. Yes, it has a five speed. Okay, and you were saying this is from what, a BMW 320? Yes, an 83 BMW 320. And how was it before that? The only problem that I had was on a highway. It feels much better. Well, it has an overdrive. This actually makes it feel like a modern car. Just getting in and out of gear, I would figure a 70s car would kind of be tricky to operate for those kind of things. No, but this is, this is smooth. This is beautiful. And I did it myself. And you did it yourself? Yes. Now, how much of the work that, that's been done to this? First off, how did you get this car? And what shape was it in? I was in really bad shape. It was in disrepair? Yes. I, I had to order a lot of parts. Yes. And it, it was painted brown. Oh. Yes. So, oh, I thought this was going to be the original color. No, no, this is when I took all everything apart, I noticed the original color under it was ink orange. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was repainted brown. Yes. Wow, that's a poor choice from yeah. orange. And when I got it, the interior was uh, tan. The seats and door panel were uh, tan. So this was a nice project car for you then? Yes, right? yeah? it was. I imagine you did some mechanical overhaul on this as well? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the new clutch. I also put a LSD differential from a, the 93 320 IS, and I also put the black brakes from the 320. So everything's BMW, yeah, through everything and through, front to back BMW car. I upgraded also the front brakes. Yeah. Well, overall, I think it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a beautiful driving machine. Which is what a BMW yeah, is supposed yeah. to be. And the steering wheel, I gotta say, was a great choice on yours. This is a good looking steering wheel for this car. It's a little bit crooked, I have to say. A little it. bit crooked. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit left to center. I, I like this car, and then when I started to read the history of it, it gave me a much bigger appreciation for the car itself. No horn, huh? That's not working. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. It is, but I sometimes I, I have to take it and on the road repair. Yeah. I'm waiting for like a train horn to come out of this thing. No, you know? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't want to redline your car, but do you do you often drive it hard, or how do you normally drive this car? Uh, once in a blue moon, I have tried, but I'm not still comfortable 100% with the brakes. I, I will done, say I have done 100. 
You have done a hundred. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's not something I'm gonna try. <laughs> I just wanna put my foot down a little bit and kind of feel it out. The suspension is forgiving. The suspension well, yeah, is nice. It's nice, yes. Yeah. It's racing uh, suspension. This is great. The suspension right. feels great. Yeah. And it's actually nimble and fun to kind of yeah. throw around a corner. The fun kind of explodes exponentially when you get this thing a little bit yeah. faster. Yeah. yeah. One of the things that I tell you I'm going to change is the exhaust. Do they make like an M competition version exhaust? That <laughs> maybe you can get some, maybe you get some yeah, fire yeah, out the back? Yeah, they do. They do. In reference to the tuning, I have to take it to a guy that knows about the tuning. So okay. you could get everything to the point that I could drive it and enjoy it. So are you saying it's starving for power right now, or rather yeah, it's not? It's yeah, not it's not, yeah, I just put a one, two, three ignition in it, and I have to get it to a, a guy that knows the tuning and put it correctly. What's, what's really like kind of blowing my mind here is the height of the ceiling. Oh. It's so high up, <laughs> and it's such a narrow and, and tall car, yet the center of gravity doesn't seem high up at the same time. So let's kick it up a notch. You know, my my initial interpretation of this speed right now, by the way, is fantastic with this five speed. Because you're dead on. This is great for highway speeds right now. Yes. That's very nice. These mirrors seem to be useless. They're definitely yeah. <laughs> but your visibility is fantastic. I got a lot of visibility going back here, so that's great. Look, you're doing 70. I'm doing I didn't even notice. Yeah, yeah. look. You I'm relaxing, it. man. When I tell you when you do 80 or 90, you don't feel it. <laughs> The only thing that's missing, that I will say, is yeah, I need something here. That's it. But you know, it forces you to keep your hands on the steering yeah. wheel. <laughs> so but I that, 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 that's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you this: to be 73, you don't even think you're driving a 73. I car. honestly don't. Is that? What was that? That was a puff of smoke. I'm smelling something. We looked around a bit, but couldn't pinpoint any specific spot where the puff of smoke came from. So after poking at a few things and checking the basics, we decided it was nothing to worry about. John then took the driver's seat to show me how I was driving the car incorrectly the entire time. <laughs> We're driving a 73. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to hit it like that, man. It's not my car. I try to respect everybody's things. You, you're putting your foot all the way down then, right? Because that's the only way to get this thing to move. Yeah. yeah. I should have watched you drive it first, so I know how to drive it. <laughs> this thing starts to move then. Yeah, yeah. I was being way no, too light no, on it, this man. Is, this, is, this is a Bima. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was not a good show of its abilities then, huh? Yeah, that sounds great too. Yeah. The temperature, I have to check. I have to put a new, uh, I just put a fan. When, when it's really hot, is now is that that yeah, looks too it, hot to me though yeah well they run hot and let me ask you a question where it says the gas there and empty is an r is that mean yeah. refill or what is it is that is that german for empty that's empty refill refill is that what yeah. it's supposed to stand for yeah are you making that up <laughs> i don't know <laughs> all right now the way you're driving it i would love to take this around a track oh quite honestly that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> the great thing about this car when you push it it lets you know that he likes it. It feels much better with you driving it hard and aggressive than it did with me kind of just kind of mosey along and babying it. I think I only had one person say to me before I got in their car, beat the absolute crap out of it. <laughs> I still find it funny that whenever I drive a car that's older, nobody on the road respects you as far as giving you space, letting you in. I was actually kind of shocked to see that some BMWs were like cutting us off. And I'm like, bro, I, I am, I am I'm your, the legend. I'm your legend. You look up to me as a yeah. legacy. You like BMWs now because of this. <laughs> exactly. This was one of those vehicles that I saw going by, and I was like, wow, I love that little car. The older I got, I said, I, I'm gonna buy one of those. When I get older, I'm gonna buy one of those. I enjoy the ride of the BMW. I love being yeah. inside a BMW. It's a beautiful um, machine to drive and have fun. This would be the coolest little friggin' car to have in 1973. Are you kidding me? I think the only thing you're missing for a nice solo cruise is a nice radio. See, the only thing I do is get your fit and finish here a little bit better now. Now, are you gonna work on getting all these dials figured out and, yeah. and finish the interior, yeah. right? This isn't done for you on the inside. No, 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 it's no. not done. This car is a working process still. I kind of thought you wouldn't really drive it slightly aggressively, but you- Oh, you, no, no. You I definitely do, no, man. I, that, that's why I need to take it to a great mechanic that would tune in and tell me, look, ready to 
just go and enjoy it. I had a good day with John and his TII. Short of just loving the old school BMW look and the manual feeling of an older car, I really came to adore this car for its history and significance. John has quite the lineup in his garage, so this won't be the last you see of him. Next up, I'll be taking a drive with him in his 1989 M3, and I really can't express just how excited I am to get behind the wheel of it. If you like this video, share it with the world, tell your grandmother, friends, enemies, whoever. I need subscribers since this is pointless to do with so few people watching. I'm both joking and not joking. Like and subscribe and leave a comment if you have something to say. Thank you for watching. A TI version was produced alongside this. That is not the right way. This is a one way, dog. These people aren't smart, man. That's what it comes down to.